Is it any wonder then, in the shadow of such disillusionment, that people begin to question whether they should just jettison the church altogether and just try out solo Christianity? Whether you're a newcomer to the Christian story or a Christian with tenure, it's easy to become disillusioned with the church. I mean, if Christians are meant to be like Jesus, then churches should be amazing, right? These life-giving, truth-speaking, grace-extending communities centered around love. Which is why reality tends to smack us in the face. For not only does the church have a spotty historical record with a litany of sacred crimes hiding in the closet, but now, as the growing number of deconstruction and deconversion stories spell out online, people experience all kinds of negative things in church, from the religious hypocrisy of Christian leaders to the relational dysfunction of church members. Now, sometimes the letdown is relatively benign, as we question whether the time, energy, and money poured into church is it actually doing anything. Is it really worth it? But other times, the trauma is real, where people whom God loves have become the victims of one of the many evil faces of abuse. Is it any wonder then, in the shadow of such disillusionment, that people begin to question whether they should just jettison the church altogether and just try out solo Christianity? So what does a Christian story say about the importance of church community? Can I love Jesus and leave the church? Well, the truth is I resonate with those who sometimes struggle with the church. And my heart is especially heavy for those who were hurt in the very communities that God intended to bring healing. What I want to say to you, though, if you have been wounded by Christians, is that leaving a church does not have to be the same thing as leaving the church. If a church has become toxic, then undoubtedly the right thing to do, depending on your capacity, is either to expose what is evil or get out safely, potentially both. If the teaching or the culture of a church goes against Jesus, then you can absolutely love Jesus and leave. But while there may be all kinds of legitimate reasons for leaving a church, for those who love Jesus, we never really leave the church. You see, according to the New Testament, the church isn't found in just one building or location. No. Of all the metaphors used to describe the church, a bride, a body, a building, the Christian story focuses most often on family. The church refers to the family of God that we are born again into when we believe in and follow Jesus. So Christianity was never a solo enterprise. Jesus and the apostles gave abundant commands that can only be followed in community. Over 100 times the New Testament invites us to engage in one anothering. That Christians are to love one another, to bear one another's burdens, to be devoted to one another, to encourage one another. Which is why following Jesus is not something that you can do only in private. So while I totally appreciate that deep trauma needs tender care, and that disillusionment can make it hard to engage again, I want to spell out why I think Christians need to be part of a church physically, and not just the church spiritually. Three reasons to invest in church. First, it takes a church to raise a Christian. The Christian story teaches that the full gamut of being saved by Jesus is something that only happens in Christian community, not cut off from it. After all, if we are to become again who we were created to be, developing a heart and hand and mind of Christ, then we need other Christians to help us better inhabit the Christian story. We need spiritual shepherds to teach and challenge us, spiritual fathers and mothers to look up to, and spiritual friends who will encourage us through every season of life. So while we may be tempted to think that leaving the church makes our lives easier, comfort is rarely a reliable metric of personal growth. And often the cost of community, the irritation of having to love other messy people, is precisely the forge through which God shapes us to become more like Jesus. Second, it takes Christians to build up the church. The Christian story teaches that if the church is Jesus' body here on earth, then each individual Christian has a role to play to help that body be healthy and function properly. One person is an eye, another is a hand, another is a foot, each with heart and gifts and expertise that is indispensable. That means when we as Christians make the decision to cut ourselves off from the body, now that church is walking blind or limping along without the unique contribution that God intends us to have. So whatever problems we may have with the church, they only tend to get worse when we back away, not better. Third, Jesus is not done with the church. No one is more aware of the church's shortcomings than Jesus. But then again, he knows my shortcomings too. And what's so incredible about the Christian story is that unlike me, Jesus is not tempted to walk away when people let him down. Jesus loves the church. Described as his bride in the New Testament, Jesus has a vision for who the church can become. And he knows that by loving her, she can become lovely. That through sacrifice and devotion, she can be made beautiful. 
Like with you and me, people who are messed up, Jesus has pre-decided to love his church. Which is why if you love Jesus, he invites us to make that same pre-commitment. To love the church, to play our part in helping her become beautiful and a beacon of hope to the world. When we see how far a church falls short of her potential, we only have the beginnings of a prophetic voice. For that voice to mature, to where it echoes the love of Christ, our sort of critique in the one hand needs to be matched with a cross of sacrifice in the other, where we are willing, like Jesus, to lay down our lives to see her build up. So can I love Jesus and leave the church? Let me suggest that what God has joined together, let no person separate. Dan here from Questioning Christianity. Thanks so much for checking us out. We are all about helping you connect the Christian story to life's deepest questions. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe and click the bell on YouTube and then go ahead and follow us on socials.